Hey guys, my name is Demas Risley, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up or slow down your videos for social media. So speeding up a video is great for when you want to show an extended period of time, but you're limited to a certain time frame, like 15 seconds for Instagram stories, for example. So this is essentially creating a time lapse. Slowing down a video works the opposite way where you can fill a certain time frame when your video clip is too short. However, you want to watch out when you're slowing down your footage because you want your original video to have a higher frame rate than the frame rate of your timeline. So let's now jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and dive deeper into this. All right, so first I'm gonna drop in this time-lapse video I made of the Tokyo skyline. As you can see, it's just longer than 15 seconds. So we're gonna have to speed it up slightly to fit to 15 seconds for Instagram stories. So first let's change the aspect ratio of the frame to fit for Instagram stories. So go up to the top to sequence and then sequence settings and change the frame size to 1080 by 1920 and click OK. So now that we've changed the frame to be slightly smaller in height, I'm just going to scale the video smaller so that the video fits in the frame. So just drag the scale number to the left until it fits nicely. If your footage is smaller, then you can slide it to the right to make it fit the larger frame. Alright, so now to speed up the clip, you just want to type in 1500 onto this time code to get the cursor to snap to the 15 second mark. And then while holding Ctrl or Command R, notice the cursor changing, just drag the end of the clip back to the line. It's that simple. Another way to speed up or slow down your videos is by right clicking the clip and then selecting speed and duration. When this menu opens up, you can type in a percentage value in this box to accurately speed up or slow down your videos by a specific amount. For example, you can type in 50% to decrease the speed by half or 200% to double the speed. There is also an option to reverse your videos if you click this reverse speed checkbox. Let's now try again with a clip that's longer. Okay, so let's now try this longer time-lapse clip I shot using an action camera suction cupped onto my car windshield during my last road trip. In this case, the footage is upside down and too small for the frame. So you want to change the rotation to 180 degrees and increase the scale so it fits the height of the frame. So just like before, all we have to do is press Ctrl or Command R on the keyboard and then drag the end of the clip back to the 15 second mark. Just make sure the mouse cursor changes when you hit Ctrl or Command R. This also works the same way when you want to slow down footage as well. So here I have a clip of me walking in Hong Kong that was shot at 50 frames per second. So to check what FPS your video was shot at, you can right click the clip and then click properties. Here it says that the frame rate is at 50, so it means that the clip was shot at 50 FPS. And because the timeline is set to 25 FPS, it means that the speed can be slowed down to half or 50%. So let's see what percentage we get when we extend the clip to the 15 second mark. As you can see, it's slowed it down to 49.07%, which is very close to 50. And then we can make it exactly 50 by right clicking and then clicking speed and duration. Now the footage fits the maximum time for an Instagram story, and the video is much more dramatic because it's in slow motion. So the last thing for this video is to show you what happens when you try to slow down footage that was shot at a frame rate that is the same or lower than the timeline. So I've got this other clip that was shot at 23.976 frames per second. So I'm just going to cut it down so it's heaps shorter. So just like before, we're just going to extend it to 15 seconds while holding Ctrl or Command R. Here you can see how jumpy the video looks, which doesn't really work for slow motion. So this was what I was talking about earlier when I said you have to watch out what frame rate your video has been shot at. And that's it, super simple, right? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can now play with time and speed in your social media content. Make sure to check out the other videos in this Premiere Pro for social media series and come say hello on my social channels too. See you in the next video. Bye.